At least yeah. we're getting rain. It's warm enough for rain this midday, That's so that true. is good news. A couple of degrees could have made a huge difference out there, but it's not that big of a mess. We've got some rain across the northern half of the state, and then right along the Iowa-Minnesota border over toward Wisconsin. That's where it changes over to a wintry mix. A little closer view shows along and north of I-80 here. We're dealing with the showers up through Iowa Falls, Fort Dodge. Let's go in for a little closer view. Guthrie County, Dallas County, yeah, you're getting a steady rain right now, moving in toward Waukee, spreading over toward Ankeny and Ankeny. Coon Rapids, Jefferson, you've been getting the off and on drizzle. Now more of a steady rain for you in Webster City and Clarion. There is a chance for some wintry mix, maybe some ice pellets or sleet from Humboldt over toward Clarion and uh, over toward Garner, Belmont and back through Algona. Now it's all slushy though because readings are above freezing. There is a winter weather advisory until 6 p.m. for the counties mainly northeast of the viewing area and that's just in case a little bit of that can collect on the roads, but so far so good out across Nebraska. There's a little bit left here. Some light snow falling down through Norfolk out through Ord, kind of a wintry mix that's going to be sweeping through here this afternoon, taking you hour by hour through three o'clock dealing with rain, a light wintry mix close to the Minnesota border here, but notice it stays well above freezing through 5 p.m. So you may have some wet snowflakes trying to mix in, but they're not going to have much luck. Then the cold front comes through this evening, ending the precip and temperatures will be taking a big tumble over the next couple of days and by Tuesday we'll even be dealing with a couple more flurries. Well, snow tracker is showing the potential here for around an inch or so of snow north of Highway 20 into Minnesota. But once again, it's going to have a hard time sticking because temperatures are above freezing, so it's going to be kind of slushy out there and tough to measure. Light rain for us, sunshine for southwest Iowa, a beautiful day there. Already 45 degrees in Creston. The roads all across the state, except for near Dubuque, are reported as wet to see. Dubuque reporting some partially snow covered roads with dense fog too. Dubuque now visibility just over a mile and we have some minor visibility restrictions here in central Iowa. A little bit of fog out there and a little bit of drizzle. Highs today are headed for the low 40s and once that cold front moves through by 6 p.m. or so, all that drizzle and rain moves out and it falls below freezing by midnight. Right now in Des Moines, you can see that sun kind of wants to come out and play, but we've got a little bit of fog and a little bit of mist out there. 37 here in Des Moines, an east wind making it feel like 32, so it's a moist cool. Here's your eight day forecast. This mess moves out this evening and we're not expecting much in the way of impact on the roads. By Tuesday, a few afternoon flurries are possible. Then the cold hits. Thursday morning wind chills could be down to near 30 below, but a quick recovery is on the way. Friday already back into the 40s, then over the weekend. And Saturday looks like the best day of the weekend with highs close to 50. Then we'll get some rain showers coming in on Sunday. And this rain is really helping out uh, our snowpack to melt away. It's like a little snow eater out there.